I mean, I think this is kind of what people want from a new Tomb Raider game. Oh, I killed myself as I went into a cutscene. Hi everyone, my name is Leloy, welcome to Lee's Play, and today we are continuing on with Tomb Raider Legend. I actually started this over a year ago and I just never got around to doing a part two. So we finished obviously Bolivia and Peru, and today we're going to be tackling Japan and Africa with the Tokyo and Ghana levels respectively. So enjoy. Well, we'll play for a little bit for sure. So let's go with Japan. Haven't played Tomb Raider Legend like properly in so many years. What exactly happened last time you and Takamoto Glad you could play it on Xbox Series X. He was trying to pass off forged relics from the Asuka period, and conventional reason doesn't work with Yakuza. But you let him go. And now we're going to have a useful conversation. It's turned out quite nicely. Okie dokie. So, here we are in the Japan section. Oh, it looks good on Xbox Series X. Look how smooth that was. This is smooth. Was there an FPS boost? Was it? Did it always run like this? Wow. Looks good. You could talk to the bartender, right? Good evening. I believe Nishimura-san is expecting me. Ah, Lady Croft. He is in his office down the hall. So this has been like Lara Croft was very much a Bond. They tried to make her more of a Bond character. Her dress is so iconic. <laughs> also, there's a great TikTok meme of um turning like your bag into a backpack and like it's so about this bag as she turns it from a satchel into a backpack it's, it's great welcome lara you have been enjoying my little party when takamoto arrives however it may cause you some inconvenience take care he is a very dangerous man when his interests differ from yours. You'd be amazed how persuasive I can be, even with dangerous men. I oh, am Lara. convinced. Saucy. I am dangerous to you, but please, enjoy the party while you can. Okie okay, dokie, okay. you can do that. Right. <clears throat> so Lara is about to have an iconic transformation right about now. This was good stuff. I have Short game. On my good time, game. You understand. Of course, Takamoto-san. I am looking for a piece, a sword, for Hall's in the care of Wasabi University, or it was until you stole it. <laughs> I am not a thief. Then you would be wise to avoid such accusations. Then I suggest we skip to the negotiations. I don't have any idea what you are talking about. Of course you do. Just name a price. Miss Croft, are you deaf? I don't know. Let's see. Try begging for your life like you did the last time we spoke. Some good stuff. Oh, here it comes. So iconic. Rip that dress up. <laughs> and turn that bag into a backpack. Whoa. Um, why is she not moving? That was weird. She was just locked. I have no idea what happened there. Uh, we're going to have to heal up pretty soon. Making an absolute show of myself. Oh, I forget how to... Hang on a second, I need to pick up a gun. I had intro grenades again. <laughs> Where'd you get those? Basic etiquette. Never arrived at a party empty handed. Takamoto has no doubt returned to his penthouse. Do not follow him, Lara. His men will be waiting. His lobby's a death trap. I know you're into those, but it's not really a winning option. If I can't go down, I'll go up. How do I get to the roof? The roof? There is an elevator. Be cautious. There is construction above. I don't know about this, Laura. That's why we have to view the problem from a different angle. Namely, the roof. Nishimura gave me the pass to the lift. I don't think I ever committed to doing a 100% run on camera. 
have that be? It was boring to watch. I haven't played this properly in over like 10 years. Where these trophies are, it's, any, it's, it's anyone's guess. Wait, how many trophies is there in this level? There's like eight, right? No, six bronze, four silver, one gold. <laughs> the muscle memory is coming back to me. Oh, dry skin. So if you see me scratching myself, it's dry skin from COVID. <laughs> So this was a really cool sequence in which we got on the motorbike, but we have to open it up. We have to get in from the roof, basically. Right. That the That's Taco He's likely to be on the top floor. This is going to require some creativity. I need to make sure I'm not missing not any bronze. I don't think this walkway gets much foot traffic. Terribly inconvenient. But I this game has a nice amount of polish. Is there an FPS boost? Because it, it, it's, run, she's, it's running smoother than I remember Tomb Raider Legend running. I don't think the reboot of games move this smoothly. But they're like more of a 30 frames. Yes, my little Buddhas. So I think if you get them all, you get to unlock the cool cat suit, right? This is the level that if you get absolutely everything, they give you the cat suit. So I feel like, you know, you should make a good go of it. Is that this one? I'm sure this is when it gives you the cat suit. I know there's another trophy here. And there we go. Silver. Perfecto. Oh, I forgot you can grapple onto some trophies we should we should keep an eye out for some hard to reach ones oh i'm not going to remember no i don't think i'm going to be able to get all of them in this place and I, there is definitely going to be some that you can grapple and i'm not going to remember where i definitely remember like there's a secret before the boss battle i think the gold secret before the boss battle if i remember it correctly what I meant. <laughs> Obviously, it's the grapple button. Oh. Mm -hmm. Tuck and roll, Lara. Don't ever do that again. Not on that bike, I won't. That bike is gone. On YouTube channels, um, they've uncovered some like beta footage of Tomb Raider Legend, and it was really interesting to see what the game looked like in the uh, the beta version, because it was like a slow mo version, not even beta alpha, alpha version. Let's grab this. We might be able to get all the secrets. I can't. I don't want to set expectations though. But you do get a fetching cat suit if you do. I remember get a cat suit. Lara should have put a cat suit in her handbag. She could have done several outfit changes in this one. Is this the only instance where, not for a secret, you have to use manual aim? Because you don't really have to use manual aim in Tomb Raider Legends. Or maybe there's maybe like a puzzle. Maybe there's a puzzle. I forget. It's been years since I've played. Like anything after Ghana is going to be anyone's guess of how to play, like Kazakhstan. Cornwall. Haven't played those levels in so long. I feel like Nepal's an easy one, but those ones? Nah, forget about it. Like, I totally will forget how to play those. Yeah, I mean, this is, cool. this, this is coming back to me. This, you, Japan's like a very iconic, memorable level of Tomb Raider Legend. As is Ghana, as is Peru, as is Bolivia. But in the second half, the levels become a bit more uh, I'm not gonna say forgettable, but like muddy, you know, it's like it's always like different shades of grey. I mean Kazakhstan's fun, like that's where you parachute, I remember that. That has the motorbike section. Okay. Right, did I commit in my first part to do a pistols only run? Because we're so not gonna do a pistols only run. Let's just make things super easy on myself. And uh Look how strong these poor dogs are. I mean, they are taking so many bullets. 
Yes, but we must find any missing trophies first. Girl, <laughs> over the top. I know there's one down here. So there's a silver one here. Right. So now we have to reach the ledge. Right. So there's going to be an ambush. Duck and roll, Lara. Yeah, there's actually sometimes there's just no need to uh Okay, one for the crowd. Let's do a slow mo for the crowd. So it's already necessary, even in hard mode. So I know what to do, but I'm just thinking actually where is the next secret? There's definitely secrets in here. I think they've hidden them under a desk or something. There is one. There's more though, there's definitely more than one. Right, let's pull this down. I love that. I can do that. If I was a secret, where if I was a, if I was a Crystal Dynamics back in the, the early days and I was designing this in Maya, where am I hiding the trophy? This will come back to bite me, but I'm going to move on. I know I'm probably missing like one. Probably somewhere really obvious too. So I really like this bit. You're kind of like flipping these around and you're scaling. Right, so let's hop up here. PSP had a really good port in this. I remember the PSP port and it had like the tomb trials and stuff. Mm, I'm sus. I'm like, there better not be any missing trophies. I don't think so. <laughs> Come on, Lara. Try to. Right, so that's one. Oh my god, I forgot you can kick these bloody things open. I knew. There you are. There is one. Did I miss? Oh, it's probably filing cabinets that I missed in the other place I wasn't even thinking to kick open. Oh, actually, you know what? I might have gotten everything. Maybe. Just maybe if we're lucky. There's some- there's a secret involving that ball, I think. Yes. You smell a trap. Oh no, maybe I didn't. Maybe I am missing one. I mean, what would the puzzle be? Oh, I might be missing one. Oh, 
Alistair, you're so funny. Ha 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 ha. We're going into the final room now. This is like the final area. This is my province, not one of your rotten little tombs. Tell me about the sword, Takamoto. What about it? What is it that fascinates you, Ms. Croft? Special powers. Your persistence will be the death of you. Whoa, buddy. Catching him. Oh, it's gonna kill me. I'm gonna figure out where the heck that's. Oh, Terminator Legend Tokyo Secrets. Where are you? Oh, look at where I missed it. I knew it. In that stupid office, there is a secret. I don't think we're gonna get the outfit though. I know it'll be effort having to play this again. I knew the bloody cabinet. Right, so we should probably swap for shotgun. Now I remember how to get the gold one. This I do remember. Although I mean those guns would be better for Takamoto. It's kind of boring what it does. But yes, I do remember you pushed this, and this has the gold reward. It's just a pity we missed the silver. I think you need everything to get the outfit, don't you? Thank you. Here's my gold trophy. Let's go and kick Takamoto's arse. I cannot believe I missed the silver trophy. Of course it was in the filing cabinet. Disrespected me. You have broken into my house. You have Excuse killed me. my men. I've simplified your payroll. And now, no, if you if don't, you don't mind, mind, I'll streamline your inventory. That's how much of a tumor I have. I can still remember the bloody dialogue from this game. Of my collection. And why is that? I am fond of recovering objects from dead uh, Englishmen. In this case, silver one of your crusaders. Some have even said the warmonger was one of your King Arthur's knights. I do not know who came by it, for it is clearly far older than the 11th century, when your people lived in huts of mud. And for this reason, you'd rather die than hand it over? No. For this one! Um, controversial take, but I forget what we're to do here. I mean, I remember the climb up on this bloody thing, but like, does he die purely by... He does, okay. There's not like some puzzle. No, okay, that's how he dies. Fine, fine, fine. I love that you basically just have to chase him around. Thank you for standing still. Oh, what now? Bullets already. Oh, we can't use our grenades. I mean, that was me thinking. Mm -mm -mm. Stop running for my grenades. Oh, I killed myself as I went into a cutscene. That's funny. This is it, all right. Did you see what it can do? That's hilarious. Yes, Alistair, I did. That's what he said. Where is he? It depends on whether he was naughty or nice. We've got a line on James Rutland, by the way. Wanna go again? Absolutely. Africa is in my favorite country. Okay. 
Right, so that was an absolute fail. I cannot believe the one trophy. Of course it was on a couch. Of course it was on a couch. But I might have unlocked an airfish. I did. Yay. Let's save. Oh, was that why I was doing multiple saves in case I muffed it up? I wasn't thinking to do multiple saves. I must have done that last year. I like doing this because the loading screen changes each time you do a new level. So it's always kind of cool to come back to the main menu just to see what the loading screen looks like. We did, because we got the gold trophy. We got the cat suit. That's really cool. I mean, they give you so many outfits in this game. It's like, I feel like you, you must try them on. Cat suit. Oh, guys, we look so cool. We look so fetch in our cat suit. Well, let's get it into the light. Lower model it for us there. You can kind of see the catfish. We do not support the Union Jack outfit. Uh uh. Classic. The classic outfit's still so good. It's great. Nothing beats the classic outfit. I don't care what anyone says. The classic outfit's so good. Okay, back to the main. Back to the main of, you know, crap. Let's play this game. Okay, Tagana. Oh cool, I can play in the classic outfit? How did I pull that one off? I mean, I'm not complaining. Is that because I switched it in Craft Manor? That's really cool. I didn't realize I could even do that on the Xbox. In general. I thought you always had to only make the outfit on when you, when you do replay. Yay. I like the classic outfit. Oh cool. Yeah, the classic outfit's enabled. No sign of Rotland so far. Have we worked out what he's doing here? But there's something else. When I was going over the map, Winston said your parents have been there. Your dad worked the site before you were born. That's not so peculiar. It happens occasionally. Oh, we look great. Look at us. In Africa, in the classic. I mean, I think this is kind of what people want from a new Tomb Raider game. You know, a real back to basics approach. If all else fails, I can get into the postcard business. Oh, how times have changed. No one really sense those anymore. You sure do, Lara. Let's do the epic swan dive. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. So it's not all fun and games. If I remember correctly, yes, I was right. There are trophies to be had down here. Maybe I have to do the waterfall first. Okay, we'll do the waterfall first. The water's absolutely perfect. I missed Ghana. Oh, you could kick this with your legs. You could either grapple it or you could kick it with your feet. That's right. So with Toby Guard, he always loved hiding tombs behind waterfalls. He worked on Shirei Legend, he obviously does Shirei 1. He came up with the idea of the Lost Valley having Qualitex tomb behind the waterfall. And we're doing it again. You're a busy beaver, aren't you? Oh look, it's Rotland. Fancy dropping down for a chat then? Do you like the campier tone of Legend? I mean, it's, it's more to me to come to an end. Mr. Wishy Lara. I'd wish you luck with that, or you people uh, want serious, serious. You know. Alistair should really have a look at this. But he's still trying to figure out where these sword pieces originally came from. Just you and me for now. There we go. But I feel like there's probably some other ones hidden beyond that. Oh no, there's one. See, hmm. I'm a completionist. I know how these Tomb Raider game developers think. So what kind of ancient I don't think there's anything in the water. Sometimes I can't help it, I'll just run back in circles. Not very effective for a trap. 
Not these days. Something must be jamming the works. Right. Let's kick some ass. Use the turret gun and shoot this. Water wheels got things running again. Congratulations, you got your wish. The place is a death trap. They needed a woman's touch. These crates have secrets in them, we'll never know. I still remember being like nine years old and when the second trailer for Tomb Raider Legend came out and like the Tomb Raider fans like blew up. It was like really like you know one of those like 2000s kind of woman making moaning noises and some like rap lyrics or something but I remember the water wheel was like such a huge thing like, oh my god this looks so cool. Right, so we have to activate this water wheel. Tomb Raider Legend was really the beginning of Chris, well not only was it Crystal Dynamics first game, but kind of their whole ideology of doing like physics based puzzles rather than switch based puzzles. And they've been doing that since 2006, so they've been doing physics based puzzles much longer than even traditional flip switches, you know, more problem solving, thinking at your head type puzzles. Maybe they you know bring some of that back into the classic games. Like have a mixture. I mean I love the physics puzzles, but I think you know, I think a lot of people do love you know doing things with switches and keys and you know something that's a bit more mind usage. I mean physics I know the idea of a phys physics puzzle is to use your mind more. But they're always so easy to figure out since you right <laughs> these physics puzzles they keep coming up with. Um although I love what they did with the with the challenge tombs in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the DLC. Those challenge tombs are so difficult that maybe they should totally ignore what I'm saying and just keep going with their own strategy because it's good stuff. I highly recommend. You know, I haven't. Um, when Shadow of the Tomb Raider came out, we knew it'd be a lot. We'd be a long time waiting for a new game, so I actually haven't 100%ed Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and I've still like three DLC challenge tombs left to play so I might I'm, I'm even slightly ever so slightly tempted I might do them on stream you know for YouTube but um kind of like en I, I enjoy playing them it's like just my own piece like it's fine if I'm replaying a game but for the first time I don't know if I want to experience it on camera I kind of you know it's want to get comfortable and you know, properly sit down and play some Tomb Raider but um these DLC challenge trims are so good and I, I didn't play them immediately when they came out because I knew we'd be waiting a long time for a new Tomb Raider game so I kind of load up Shadow of the Tomb Raider like every six months or in some cases even maybe once a year and I'll do a challenge Tomb Raider to just kind of stay up to date with Miss Lara Croft. I know for a fact there's bloody secrets here I just I don't know where. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know what to do. This puzzle's easy. Come on. Like, I would, if I was a game designer, I'd put something in the water. A little secret little trophy. This is cool. I like the grapple. 
I wonder if fans, you know, they've been running a lot of polls on Tomb Raider, like Twitter and stuff, like fans vote for what's your favorite. They should kind of figure out if, I mean, do you prefer the magnetic grapple like this, like you can use it to like swing yourself around this way? Or do you guys prefer more classic, well, how do I get to you? Or do you prefer a more classic, um, like reboot kind of, you know, they just use it to swing on ledges. Oh my god, I got up there. Oh, I can just climb up. Duh. Okay. Noob, noob, noob. That's like the Tomb Raider problem though. It's like, there, there must be some challenge. And then it's like, just check the damn ledge. You can just climb up on the ledge. Now if I hop up here, we love the good ladder. I like that we press Y rapidly. And just climb up the ladder really fast. Yay! Uh, what are we doing in this section? We're gonna do a little grapple action. Just hopping. Yes. Um. Yes, your hands trapped. Oh, I get it. Keep it coming. Come on. Unleash the hands. There we go. Yay. And the water shall flood. Screw it. I'm not doing an all secrets run. I've definitely missed one or two of them. It's fine. I don't think there's any cool outfits anyway for the Ghana levels. Oh look at that, the water rail's running. Yay! The water wheel's a fun thing to swing out of. Oh yeah, look at the acrobatics. Oh wait, since it was the boulder. Wait, I think there could be a secret. I'm convinced this is the one with the boulder, right? Yeah, there's the boulder. Don't know where it came from. Very Indiana Jones-esque. Sword 
Oh, this is like when they're being kidnapped. I don't know why there's like an invisible grapple point and hanging in the air like that. No, they're not, Lara. Sorry, Tyke, Dion. What are they doing? This shouldn't be here. Oh. Dearest Amelia, yours always. Richard. Richard. It was mother's. Oh, how sentimental. Zip, can you hear me? <sighs> Back to reality. I think I do prefer the reboot storyline though. I mean, this turned out to be a mess in Underworld. With the whole mother and Avalon thing. They never really... <laughs> you shot your mother. Um, they never really went. It didn't really work out the way I think they... Anyone involved hoped it would have... Oh, I like that. The water met her hand slippery, and that's why in that instance, sometimes I see the genius of what they're trying to do here. Um... Oh, I remember there's like secrets here. But I, I can step in this water anyway. Nope. I lied. <laughs> Atosh. Those are barriers. Yes, I remembered there was oh no. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so this is worth dying for anyway. I knew there was a secret spot. I totally glitched it though. <laughs> We're still in here, that's the main thing. Why oh, auto targeted? Her throw is so bad. Why does Lara do this to me? Right. Okay. What is going on? <laughs> right. I went straight for that rope. No one can tell me otherwise. But maybe she needs more of a swing on it. Cool. We're not taking any chances here. Large seems to swing on this bloody rope and not fall off. Okay, but we're in the final section. Oh, how polite of this tiger or panther, leopard, not to even attack the other guys. 
Like it was just hanging out, selling, living its best life. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing an Omicron special stream. Just get your stand there, Laura. There we go. Let's get this time secret. Okay, do the boss battle, and then I am chewing it to the Oscars, so I will be going offline. Okay, so this is the boss battle with James Rutland. Die in this game? I feel like he dies in this game. Do we kill him? No. Lara, you came for the Galali key too, then. Perfect. It's like a man is boy toy. Pretend I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you know, it's what puts the sword back together. It's the size of a fist, and according to Amanda's research, <laughs> That's what she said. it's here. What do you know about Amanda? Where is she? She's alive. So your your father did some digging here, didn't he? You know, Amanda thought maybe he found the key. I don't know what you're talking about. Tell me about that sword fragment you're so fond of waving about. <laughs> well, I have been spending some time with it, and I've learned a couple of things. Let me show you. If I remember correctly, we have to use these, right? Oh, he's got blown up the bits. Oh, because he hops up here to heal. Right, 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 right. Aha, Rutland, I got you on the ropes. Okay, so now we can really blow him a new one. Let's just paint him. Look, look, he just, he's just soaking up these bullets. Kind of an incredible feat. broken apart. They were designed to separate and reattach. The Galali key does that? I don't suppose you'd tell me where this came from. The Crusades? King Arthur? Uh, history doesn't interest me. Well then why don't you stay here and consider the future? Make sure I'm not in it, however. You won't enjoy seeing me. Such a nerd I can like remember lines I have Amanda doesn't know that. She's at your mansion right now. You better have good insurance. <laughs> oh, this little does she know that she's really got any good insurance in other worlds. So fierce! Yay! Okay. Uh, cinematics, bios, concept, outfit selection, option models. So, I guess we got an outfit. We unlocked a new outfit, that's the main thing. Oh, look at those two bronze rewards. Just. So, we have just finished the Ghana Africa level. The next one is in Kazakhstan. I'm gonna leave it off here. As you can see, we're nearly 50% complete. If only I picked up two more copper. Uh, rewards but we still unlocked an outfit because we got the gold so let's go and see what outfit we unlocked i think it's a classic 
right? It's a, it's a classic outfit. What is it? Classic grey. Looks good. So we've unlocked that, but hopefully we can keep continuing with our, you know, our regular teal and brown shorts. Um, but I'm going to leave it off here. If you guys enjoyed, do drop a comment down below and let me know what you think about Japan and Tokyo. Japan and Tokyo. Let me know what you think about the Tokyo and Ghana levels of Tomb Raider Legend and obviously subscribe to stay tuned for the next two levels. And other than that, I hope you guys are keeping well and keeping safe. And if you're not like me with Omicron, but I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.